So the first concept that we want to get into here is how you can step through a formula or evaluate a formula a step at a time. Now open in front of you, I've got the example file called Evaluate Formula 01, and I'm looking at the Evaluate Worksheet. Remember, download this file if you haven't already. That way you can follow along with me and practice these key concepts. Now built into Excel, they've got several formula tools. Formula or tools to help you build formulas, to edit formulas, create really complex formulas, and tools to help you evaluate formulas that you've created. Take a look. Here's one of them. So inside of this worksheet, I've got the little sales table. We saw that earlier. I've got the monthly goal down below, and I've got the goal, and I've got a bonus one in there. Now with the goal, I changed it up a little bit for this example. The goal, I just want to know whether or not the individual's totals have met or exceeded the monthly goal amount. You can see my formula right here. So the first one, this guy, what is that, I3, this is H. James's goal. We just want to know if G3, G3 right here, right, is greater than or equal to the monthly goal. I named that cell. If they got it, then they reached the goal. If they didn't, then they got a big fat no, they didn't get it. Now the bonus, this is something we did earlier. With the bonus, and this is that big formula, we got the if, we got the and, because it's got one, two, three, four, five conditions inside of it. I want to know if they reached the goal and if each week was greater than or equal to 8,000. If it, they made it, then they got a bonus. If not, then they got no bonus. Sorry, what are you going to do? So now we've got the formulas. If you're unclear about what's happening inside those formulas, make sure you go back and watch the previous videos where we talked a little bit about nesting or and or. You could jump in there and just take a look at the formulas, kind of break them down. Now what we're going to do here is a really neat tool inside of Excel called evaluate. We're going to be able to select a cell that contains a formula and step through it. Watch it actually do its job. Some formulas you're going to get a little bit more out of the evaluate tool. Simpler folder uh, formulas, not as much because they got really one step and boom, they're done. With something a little more complex like the bonus, we're going to see each part get evaluated. Take a look. I'm going to click into one of the cells. I'm inside of I3. This is the the goal for H. James. With that cell selected, I'm going to go to my Formulas tab, top of my screen, Formulas. And over towards the right, you got a section called Formula Auditing. And there's several features in here. One of them is Evaluate Formula. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, Evaluate Formula. And this opens up my little Evaluate Formula window where I get to see the formula, that same formula we were just looking at a moment ago. Now in here, we've got an underline and part of that formula, in this case, G3. Now that underline directly relates to the evaluate button. If I click my evaluate button right now, it will evaluate whatever is underlined within the formula. So watch this, G3 currently underlined, I'll hit evaluate, and it evaluated G3 to 36,245. There it is right there, 36,245. So it gave me the proper results for that cell, for G3, it evaluated that cell, that reference. Now we'll get evaluated, or is going to get evaluated. Monthly goals now underlined, so if I evaluate again, 34,000, that's our monthly goal. So now, if 36,245 is greater than or equal to 34,000, it's going to evaluate that. So I hit the evaluate button, true. It evaluated it, found that it was true. So now the next evaluation step within this formula is the entire thing. I'm going to hit evaluate again. They reached the goal. So because the if, the logical test, returned to true, it's now evaluated to true and it returns the proper results reach the goal. And I can restart it, you can step back through it again. This is super handy for more complex formulas, 
as well as finding errors. And we're going to talk about finding errors here shortly. But let's try this one more time. I'm going to close this window. Let's pick one of the bonus cells. Doesn't matter which one. Let's grab one of them. I'm going to go back to formulas and I'm going to go grab the evaluate formula command. All right. Now this, is, this one's much larger, right? So first, looking at there, it jumped into the and. It's going to evaluate I5. So I evaluate. All right. No equals reached goal. So I'd already evaluated that cell right there and found that it was equal to no. Now it's going to evaluate those two to see if it's true or false. Does no equal reached goal? It's false. Doesn't do it. Now, depending on which cell you selected over here, you might be getting different results, but you're evaluating that formula. So now it's going to evaluate C5. There it is. Let's evaluate those two together. That one's false. D5. How about that one? Ooh, that one's true. E5. All right, so evaluate that. That one's true. How about F5? That one's false. All right, now it's going to evaluate all of that to see what the and should return. False. Two of them were false. It returned to false. Now it's going to evaluate the complete if. And we get no bonus. So this is the evaluate formula command. Again, super handy for more complex formulas. If you ever inherit work from coworkers, from other people, and you want to step through their formulas, see what they're actually doing in there. Why did they get this result? Why am I getting this error? We're going to talk about that. But you can walk through and step through your formulas using the evaluate formula command. Formulas, evaluate formula, step through it. Evaluate, evaluate, evaluate. Try it out. Try it out a few times. And again, if you're not still not quite clear on all the formulas we've created, even go back to the prior exercises and evaluate those formulas.